everybody, welcome back to another Cree tutorial. Today we're going to go over an update to the specific color selector. So this has kind of been something Cree has been working on to make this Docker a more advanced tool and that's more helpful to artists when they use it. And they've kind of added some features back into it. So if we go to settings, we go to Dockers, and we go down to the specific color selector. If you aren't familiar with this, I believe they took it out temporarily and it's back in now for Creta 5. I can't recall, it's been a while <laughs> since I looked at it. But as you can see, it, it's a specific color selector. You can put in the RGB values, or if you want the HSV values, which is hue, saturation, and value, you can do that as well. So I believe three, yeah, 360 is the max, and then zero is the minimum for everything here. So we go back to RGB the red, green, and blue values. And then here we have the color name. So we have a nice view of the color we want to pick along with a hex code. If you don't know what a hex code is, it's just a six digit or yeah, six digit um, value that specifies a specific color. This is often used in, um, in web design and um, coding and stuff like that. I use it for my colors just so I have a reference point when I'm going from program to program about what color I need to use that's based on my branding colors or if you have a character design and you want specific colors and you want to make sure that's consistent when you share that information with maybe um, artists who want to commission or something like that or just want to share it for people who want to make fan art or whatever. Having specific color values can be really helpful in keeping things accurate. And that's if it's important to you. Some people don't really care. We'll use different variations of the color. That's totally fine. So I'm going to pull up my branding colors for the color name, and I'm going to show you what we can do with that. Okay, so I have some colors pulled up here. These aren't my official final colors, but these are some that were I was playing with it at some point from coolers.com, I believe. And you have the hex values here at the bottom. As you can see, each one is a six-digit code. Now, these aren't um, super accurate to Pantone colors, so if you're looking for Pantone colors, make sure to keep in mind that it's a little different because Pantone is specifically for print, so the color variation may differ. So I'm going to go ahead and use this bright pinkish orange. I'm going to type that in here. Caps is not necessary. It should be the same. I hit type it in, I hit enter, I now have that color. So I go ahead and start moving this around, you know, or moving this around, using my brush to make it the color. I now have that specific color. And if I don't know the RGB value, Creator will let you know that as well. So if maybe you need the RGB value for something specific, it can give you that. Or the HSV value, you have that as well. And this is really helpful because if you're looking for something that's more in the yellow yellowish orange range you can actually see visually that it's not quite there yet it's more in the orange reddish range so if you want to be like yeah I want this a little bit more pinky orange or um, yellowy orange you can do that and it comes out like a nice pastel pumpkin orange so it looks nice right so you can use that to play around the color based off the hex code and then if you do like that new color you want to save it for future use in um, other programs or just come back to it within Krita, you can write down this hex code and you can use that going forward and anything you need to. And that's pretty much it for the specific color selector update. It's pretty simple, nothing too crazy, but there's a lot of use for it and it's pretty helpful in my opinion when you need that specific color. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them below. If you, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.